South Central families. Um, after today, we will start up again with our uh, follow along workouts. I hope you guys are working hard um, in those. But for today, I just wanted to give you guys this one little dribbling exercise. Now we had this um, a little while ago. We had same setup done and we had Lily showing you guys just tons of great little moves to do in here. Um, I was just gonna give you an, another little progression of this that hopefully you guys can follow along. What I would say is each exercise that I do, you should do for one to two minutes and make sure that your setup, that each cone is either five to eight yards from that center cone. So we have a setup here. My blue cone right here is my middle cone. I have a diamond here and then a triangle in the back. So it kind of makes a star pattern. So the first exercise is, I would say try to start in your middle cone, all right? And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna, I want you at home to creatively think of how you can optimize getting through this the quickest way. So again, with your preparation touch, with your turns, um, sighting the cones, things like that are the best things to do. So for the first exercise, what I would, what I would tell you guys to do is for the first minute to two minutes, okay, always start at your middle cone and then go to whatever cone from there that you want, always again returning to your middle cone and then going a different way. The first one is gonna be inside and outside of the foot chops and then you should alternate. So again, starting at my middle cone, maybe I'm gonna dribble up here, okay, and we're gonna stay tight to that cone, three quick chops there. Then I return to my middle and you notice I switch feet. Okay, now maybe I'm gonna go from my middle cone to this cone. So again, I'm going there. Now again, outside of the foot chop, tight around this cone. I'm gonna switch feet. Now I'm gonna use the inside of my foot. I'm gonna chop around. One, two, three, I'm gonna go here. All right, now maybe I chop around this cone, switch feet, go back to my inside cone, chop here. Okay, now I'm going this way. And again, tight chops, eyes up, find a rhythm. Try to see the best way that you can optimize to get around all these cones in the quickest way. So do inside and outside the foot chops for one to two minutes. Okay, after that, you're gonna do step over turns. So again, thinking about how quickly we can optimize, we should dribble here. Okay, I'm dribbling at this cone. I get here, I hit that step over move. Now immediately, okay, from here, my eyes are going straight back to that middle cone, I'm pointing at my preparation touches right back there. Now, I could do a step, an attacking step over here at this cone, say I wanna go to that cone there, I could dribble here, hit an attacking step over, and be dribbling, and then maybe a stern to get back, okay? So step overs for one to two minutes, okay? After that, this one's a little bit more complicated, okay? What I want you guys to do is, is we're gonna do L pushes or a drag push in the middle. So every time we get to the middle cone, we're gonna do a drag push, which is like this, where we drag that ball across and push it forward, okay? So again, I'm dragging here, pushing forward, and then when I get to the outside cones, what we're gonna do is a drag stop pullback, which is like this, we dribble here, okay, I get to the cone this foot, drag the ball across, stop it, and now from here, hit that pullback turn. Make sure you're opening up your hip and turning, keeping sight of the ball the whole time. Now again, an L push here. All right, now I'm switching feet, drag across, pull it back. And that's the L push for a minute or two minutes, okay? And the last one for now, okay, we should hit those Cruyff turns. So again, we'll start in the middle. Okay, I'll dribble out here. I'm gonna hit a Cruyff turn right here. Okay, Cruyff, tap it back behind me, take that touch. Now I'm in the middle, okay, I can do whatever I want there. Okay, go around. Now I'm dribbling, I'm gonna hit a Cruyff turn with my other foot now. Here, push, make sure we're taking that touch. Okay, I'm here, I'm gonna go around that one just to add some touches. Okay, dribble here, Cruyff turn. And again, covering every cone. I would say do each one of these exercises for one minute or two minutes, depending on how much you wanna get. Okay, try to get lots of tight touches between the cones, okay? And then of course, you can put in your own moves, your own little things, uh, plenty of different things that we could do. Again, in this setup, the important parts are, if we're doing moves, that we're always changing direction and speed 
and that we pay attention to our body movements or our body feints. And of course, our preparation touch, our directional touch out of the move to get us where we want to go so that we can optimize our pace through this. Okay, again, work at game speed. And of course, I hope you guys enjoy this. And of course, stay safe, work hard, have fun. And of course, SCP strong. See you all very soon. Thank you.